Yo, welcome back to another video guys, discussing the possibilities for Bleach's future. Always remember that the future is the community itself. Now, starting off with our big key player, Bleach Brave Souls now going farther than we ever thought possible. Make no mistake here guys, the 2019 announcements that were recently made by K-Lab, before all that, we knew the game was definitely going to hit a huge wall. But now that wall has been removed, and what lies ahead is truly promising to most fans of the Bleach series. Now, for starters, we should readdress that Bleach Brave Souls is officially, that's right, if you have not heard, they are officially collaborating with the Bleach Light Novels, which is being worked on by none other than Ryo Gonarita. And his work is being supervised by Taite Kubo. You may be wondering, what? wait, wait, it, it's not Kubo? Well, of course not. Kubo may not be writing the story of these novels, but he is overseeing Ryogo's work. So it is completely safe to say that these novels are absolutely fail-safe. As most of us know, everything from the Bleach Light novels are canon. They are canon. I've had many people asking me, what are the light novels? Where can I read them? Blah, blah, blah. Links can be found in the description, ladies and gentlemen, for further details. But again, the light novels are canon. Basically, in terms of what they stand for, the stories basically fill in many gaps and talk about certain characters in the universe of Bleach. As for the Bleach Can't Fear Your Own World light novels, the synopsis is as follows. After the events of the Thousand Year Blood War and the invasion of the Soul King's Palace, Tokinada Tsuniyashiro, the new head of the Tsuniyashiro Great Noble Clan, one of the four Great Noble Families, plots to start a war that will engulf the Soul Society, Waco Mundo, and the Human World. The man who holds the key to the conflict is Squad 9 Lieutenant Shuhei Hisagi. Can his pride as a Soul Reaper overcome the enemy? So with what we have right now guys, K-Lab definitely did hit a wall as we did mention, but they have managed to overcome. Not with the Thousand Year Blood War story as we had hoped, but they are gonna give us something else. Their idea to slide past the Thousand Year Blood War and avoid getting new voice actors Basically, the idea is now to give us the light novels as a continuation for Bleach Brave Souls for the future. <laughs> Oops, did I just mess up there? I think I just messed up there. Let me rephrase what I just said. The Thousand Year Blood War story is nowhere to be seen for the Bleach Brave Souls lineup, but we do have the light novels coming in, as we just stated. However, we will still be getting new voice actors, not the ones we hoped for, as in Stone Raiders. But either way, no matter how you look at it now, we will be getting new voice actors for the new stories coming up in 2019. For example, Shueisha will find someone to play as Tokinara Suniyashiro for the 2019 collaboration. And the same exact thing would happen for his protege, Hikone. And no guys, before you ask me anything, Viz Media has not licensed any of these light novels yet. Believe me, I have asked Viz Media a bazillion times if they were going to do it sometime in 2019, since they just released um, Volume 74 of Bleach. Um, it's only a matter of time, but, you know, they haven't really answered. Um, but it's it's probably a work in progress for them. At some point, they may they may actually reach out for those novels. But only time will tell. At some point in time, I do have a big feeling that Viz Media will take a step forward toward these novels. This has to be done at some point. It just has to be done. Back to the main point of the discussion, the future is bright next year. Now, I only say this because Kubo himself will officially be providing many new interesting aspects for players of Brave Souls and Bleach fans in general. I'm talking about the brand new Espada release forms, like what was done for Ukiora during the third anniversary of Brave Souls. So, for example, it's very likely that we may see a Hogyoku released Grimjow or Halibel in the future. You can quote me on that because it is completely true. Let that sink into your mind. Also, it is important to add that Kubo also worked on the second anniversary Ichigo form. He and K-Lab will be working hard together next year in 2019, to bring the new Espada release forms. On that note, K-Lab will be introducing something new to the Bleach community, even if it is just through a mobile app. And that, my friends, is what we call progress. But that's not all. Even more will transpire next year. It's not just the Espadas. As I had mentioned, we are getting new Japanese voice actors. Obviously, we are not getting the Sternritters yet, but they are new characters and they are getting new voice actors. 
So at the end of the day here, no matter how you look at it, this is an extremely huge step forward, you know, pointing towards new possibilities for the anime continuation. This is a great sign guys, this is a very good start for something brand new to happen. Because you guys know this stuff takes place after the events of the Thousand Year Blood War arc. Just the fact that K-Lab got rights to the light novels is absolutely mind blowing. Just imagine all of the new possibilities that we have on the table now. With this happening, of course, we laid down the facts already that we are getting new voice actors, we are getting a new story, and this really, really lights my soul on fire. Aside from everything else we just mentioned in this video, we are also gonna get Shinji Hirako's Bankai and Shuhei Hisagi's Bankai. But that is a discussion for another time because those guys have not really been confirmed to have their Bankais implemented into the game yet, but it remains a huge possibility now with this collaboration going on. So now at this time we can move topics. The Bleach live action is now finished. It's on Netflix. I'm sure everyone has watched it by now. If you haven't seen it, stop what you're doing, drop what you're doing, and go watch that movie. I'm begging you. Even the surprising English dub for it has arrived, which if I may add, contains some of the original dub voice actors of the anime itself, including Johnny Young Bosch as Ichigo Kurosaki. Distribution of the Blu-ray sets will be starting in December of 2018. Get your wallets ready, and there will be three hours of footage included. So yes, you now have every reason to buy this Blu-ray set and <clears throat> support Bleach. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Baka. Do it! Please remember that Volume 74 is out. Also be sure to always support the official release. Each of the links will be located in the description below. If you wish to see more from me, please be sure to follow my social medias such as Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. That is all for this one, guys. And as always, I will see you all in the next Bleach video. Senkei, Senbon Zakura Kageyoshi, Oi, Ikka Senjin Ka, Getsuga Tensha! Bankai, Aten Kyoko Chikaramatsu Shinji, Ore Nite Ozume Shimeno Dan, Itokiri Basami Chizome no Nodobue.